So a quick guide on what kit and equipment you need for a rugby game. So first off then, so we've got a um, waterproof uh, top here. Uh, this one's Samurai, uh, really good brand, uh, quite thin, this one. Okay, but it's just sort of uh, wet, for sort of wet conditions, uh, getting muddy, um, ideal, uh, great uh, top there. Um, if it's winter, try to do the thicker there, just the version as well. So try and get that. Uh, it's got a bit of a fleece liner. So that's a good one. Uh, here we've got uh, just a t-shirt for training. You're gonna need that, you're gonna get sweaty. And you know, the, the team might provide some of this, but depending, uh, you know, on a team, you might have to bring your own stuff. So uh, t-shirt here, um, I always like to have my own shorts. There's nothing worse than getting to, to match day. You're the, the last one there and you end up with a triple XL props shorts. So I always like to have my own shorts. So it's good. Uh, same socks. So it's nothing worse than wearing a, a crusty old pair of socks with holes in them. So I always buy my own. Socks are like five to ten quid. Okay, they're not expensive, and you get to look after them. You get to wash them, um, and yeah, it just it's the little comforts when you're playing. So definitely a tip for me: buy your own socks. Okay, so we're moving on to boots then. So these boots are the Malice. Um, Adidas Malice, great boots. Um, in all my other videos, you probably see that I do push the Adidas boots. I just think they're leading the rugby scene at the minute. They're making some quality boots. I'll give you a little tip. Adidas do different types of studs. So they do the, the longer rug, rugby stud here. As you can see here, the front one is a little bit longer as well. Uh, they do a medium stud as well. So here is the, uh, the medium stud. And as you can see here, okay, even the front, the front ones, you can sort of compare the two stud, the studs here. Okay, you can see the sort of difference in the length of the studs and, and definitely on the back one as well. You can see how longer the back one is. So, so really good tip is buy multiple studs and then you've got your take key with you. Make sure you've always got your key, your stud key, and you can just change the studs over. So they do the long, medium, and they do a molded stud as well. So you don't need to buy three pairs of boots, okay? One pair of boots, three sets of studs, you're good to go. These boots will last a season, easy. Invest a bit more in one decent pair of boots that you can change the studs and you're good to go. Uh, one pair of boots each season. Got the, the key to go with them. <laughs> Just remember that Adidas ones are a little bit smaller than the normal sort of boot ones because they are quite a thin a thin stud. They've got a weird um, sort of locking me mechanism. Okay, so only the Adidas key works for these. Okay, we've got gum shield. Make sure you invest in a, a decent gum shield, guys. Um, yeah, these ones, luckily I get these through the military. Uh, so there are dentists, you know, they want us to look after our teeth. We have to be dentally fit to uh, deploy in that, so they give us good gum shields. But, you know, getting to a dentist, uh, spend about a good 80 to 100 quid getting one molded by de a dentist. I just find the ones you do with heat, uh, heating up water, they're, they're not the best. You know, you don't get the best fit. They're not very comfortable. Uh, these are molded to your feet. They take a cast of your teeth, okay, and then, then mold it. I've got a couple here, one spare as well. I just think I will lose one. I've uh, got some Tiger Balm, really good stuff. Gets in real deep to the muscle, warms it up. Um, I just think it's a lot better than deep heat. I find deep heat sort of warms um, like the sort of top layer tissue. This goes a little bit deeper. So great stuff. Don't get it in your eyes. It hurts. Um, cool. Got some tape then. So we're moving on to, uh, this is more focused on if you're sort of uh, back row, second row. Okay. Um, everyone needs tape anyway. So zinc tape for injuries, fingers, if you need that. So that's zinc. Okay, we've got uh, a lacicated bandage, which is here. I've got a couple variants. I've got an old one here. Um, here's one a little bit thicker. Okay, it's just a little bit elasticated. So when you're using it for your blocks, okay, um, it just gives you a little bit, a little bit of movement. Um, so second row blocks, I'd say you're probably going to need. If it's a little bit thinner, like this one, compared to that one. Okay. You're probably going to need a, a few more. So I've got four here, two for each leg. That'll do for the game. And have spare as well, because at halftime, 
if uh, it sort of comes loose, you're gonna need to reapply this, get your block sorted. And this just helps your teammates lift you. Okay, it just gives you that little edge um, in the line outs. Uh, this is the electrical tape. This goes over the, um, to lock off the elasticated bandage. So you're gonna need a little bit of this, cheapest chips from the shops. Uh, lifting blocks. You don't have to buy fancy lifting blocks. You can make your own. This is just a little bit of foam, thin foam. It's quite flexible. Jobs are good in. Okay, so they're spot on. That's a good size there. Talking like a sort of hand, a hand length. And that's good. Okay, you've got the grip socks. So great socks for these. You spend all this money on your boots. Have good socks. So you're talking like 10 quid for these socks here. Loads of different brands at the minute making these. They just give you that extra little bit of grip um, in your boot. And just finally, just a little bit of nutrition. So just got uh, some fruit. I would normally have like sort of flapjacks. I'll probably get some of that today. So some flapjack just to give you a bit of energy, um, some electrolyte drinks and some caffeine Red Bull. And then sort of post-match, uh, all you need is um, a protein bar. Uh, you know, you've probably worked hard over the game, the, the warm up that you've done as well. Um, so it's good to uh, sort of get some recovery um, nutrients inside you. Uh, so yeah, if there's any type of protein, maybe a protein shake, something like that. And uh, then obviously some food after the game as well. And so that's all the kit guys. That's the sort of kit that you're gonna need on match day. So that's all you get, pretty much what you need for match day. If there's anything else that you think you should have, uh, it'd be great, just put in the comments, any top tip from you guys. Uh, there's plenty out there. I'd be uh, interested to know uh, what else you can sort of advise and share with the, the Beast Brigade group. Guys, this is Luke Bremble. See you next time.